Okay, so this is basically part two to um, exercise one, the examples on exercise one. I saw last night again the videos are too long. Even the examples are too long. So I'm trying to cut it down a bit, okay? You must tell me when I'm talking too much. Right, so at this point, although the standard form of a circle is y is equal to, um, um, the center of the circle is a, b, and the equation in standard form is x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. You can sometimes multiply out these equations, and you'll get it in this form. However, we need to say, if it's given in this form, we need to work back. Why would we need to work back? To retrieve the center and the radius. You guys understand? So, um, so that's basically what they're explaining here. They go ahead multiplying out all of those stories. And how do we get it back into standard form? This is what we call a perfect square trinomial. Okay, and remember we did completing the square in grade 11. Right, and this is also the reason why I emphasize that you guys understand how to do this because this is normally worth five marks here. Okay. People, let's go into it. Firstly, this is the set of um, examples two. Okay, we set of example two, which is on page 190 to 100. Alright, 191, yes. Alright, so for exercise one on page 192. People, the question says, determine the radius and the center of the circle. Simple. This is in standard form of x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. If this is the standard form, what do we know about the center of the circle? The center is at the origin. So what is the center of the circle? Zero and zero. But this is my what value? R squared. So r squared is 12. So r is going to be... The square root of 12, which is 2 root 3. Remember, when I introduce square root, I don't forget. Plus minus. But the radius is never negative. So it's going to be 2 root 3. Do you have any confusion here? Nothing. Easy, no? Dava is out of it. Oh, is it not Dava? Major. I was close, no? No. no. Right. Oh, First my. Time. What was that right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I need a chocolate, no? People, we got x minus 6 all squared plus y squared is equal to 100. The question is to determine the center of the circle and the radius. So this here, people, would be in the form of x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. So if you look at y squared, y squared is the same as y minus 0 squared. You all agree with that? So what would the center of the circle be? 6 and 0. While your radius is going to, this is the radius squared is 100. And the square root thereof is 10. So the center is 6 and 0 with the radius of 10. Any issues here? <coughs> There's a good couple of marks allocated to determining the center of the circle in your upcoming paper too. No? So know what's going on here. Then again, know what's going on everywhere. No, that's why you have to really do well. People, we've got x squared plus 8x plus y squared minus 3y is equal to negative 6. So what did we say? We're going to write it in, uh, in standard form. And what is standard form? It's x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. That's standard form. But what we notice, we have a perfect square trinomial that needs to be um, created so that it can be written as a binomial square. Not so. So just to refresh your memory here, we've got x squared plus 8x plus a number plus y squared minus 3y plus a, a number equals negative 6 plus the first number plus the second number. Remember when we completed the square, if it's given like this, 
We add a number and we subtract the same number. Not so. So what's the difference between this and this here? This is an expression. Yes, and this is a equation. an equation. Yeah. There's a difference. So in an equation, if I add something on one side of the equal sign, I must add it to the other side. Whereas an expression, if I add something, I must subtract it again. Why? Because I want to keep the original sign. Because in mathematics, we don't change the value of anything, not so. We only simplify. That's what makes mathematics easy. Okay, we don't change the value of anything at all. No? Right, so let's go with it. What must be added here to complete the square? How do we get it? Is it in a refresh your memory? It's B times half, and it must be squared. What's my B value here? 8. 8 times half? 4. 4 squared is? 16. Right. On the other hand, negative 3 times half? Negative 3 over 2. And it must be squared, which is 9 over so what is created here? Perfect squares. Here's a perfect square. And here's a perfect square triangle. You all agree with that? Which now can be written as x plus 4 squared plus y minus 3 over 2 squared is equal to. Now this Mickey Mouse can be written on the calculator. That's 10 is 49, I think. 49 over 4. Let me just check if I'm correct. This is I'm right. Negative 6. This I've done. Or you say it's right. Whoops. Okay, that's the easy one. 49 over 4. But have I answered the question? Have I answered the question? No. What's the question? The center. So what's the center? Negative 4. It's always the additive inverse. Negative 4 and 3 over 2 is with the radius of square root of 49 over 4, which is huh? 7 over 2. Or 3.5 by 3 and 0. Easy, no? You say it's too easy for your liking. Let's get something more challenging. Sorry? I don't know if that's going to take your fancy. But x2x squared plus 2y uh, squared plus 6x minus 5 equals 0. Many problems here. Eh? What's the first problem? There must be a 1 in front of x squared. Not so. To complete the square, there must be a 1. So what do I do? I divide throughout by 2. If I divide throughout by 2, what do I get? x squared plus y squared plus 6x minus 6. 3x minus 5 over 2 equals 0. So what would the standard form of this equation, of this circle be? x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. You all agree with that? So what I do is, I write this with the x. Why? So that I can complete the square. You see that, people? Also, I take this negative 25 over 2 over the equal side. So it reads now. x squared. Am I moving too fast? No. no. x squared plus 3x plus y squared is equal to 5 over 2. Now what? So what do we do is we say, okay, we've got x squared plus 3x plus same number to complete the square with. Plus, what do we know about y squared? We all know that is a perfect square already. So nothing needs to be done there. Not so. That's y squared is equal to 5 over 2. If I add something on the left, it was added on the right as well. Right, so how do I get this number here? B times half. And what's 3 times half? 3 over 2 and it must be squared, which is 9 over. Let's say, hang on. There's a perfect square sign and we'll be informed there. Not so. That's also a perfect square. Now, can we written as 
as what? X plus 3 over 2 squared plus Y squared equals, that's 4 is 10, is 19 over 4. Is that correct? 19 over 4. Have I answered the question? No. So what's the question? The center. And what's the center of the circle? Negative 3 over 2 and 0. Whilst R squared is 19 over 4. Whilst R is going to be the square root of 19 over 2. Put that in the calculator, you should get 19 over 2. People, any confusion there? So with that, you should be able to have done exercise 1, number 3. Now, I know some of you have done it already. Out of exercise 1, number 3, any issues there? Sorry? You don't have an issue. Anybody else has an issue with it? Nobody? Tap the elbow. We did do it now until it comes to the exam and then we did something else. Right, so that brings us to the end of the examples for exercise one.